hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have 9 to the power of 10 minus 3 to the power of 10 divided by 9 to the power of 5 uh, so here we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form uh, so here we solve uh, this problem for two methods uh, and i hope so uh, you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section but now here uh, some uh, viewers or students uh, uh, gives the comment that this question is solved only one minute uh, or less than one minute so please remember one thing is that uh, if you uh, attempt this question in exam uh, then you need to do all of these steps in order to uh, obtain the full marks of this question okay so for this we need to do all of these steps uh, that's why I can just solve this question uh, uh, we can solve this question by a step by step solution okay so here I can solve this with uh, two methods now here we need to discuss our first method and in first method we uh, focus uh, here in the base of this term so we, our base is 9 and we write it as 3 multiplied by 3 and its whole exponent is 10 minus this is 3 to the power of 10 uh, and it is divided by this is 9 to the power of 5 and we write 9 as 3 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is 5 and now here in the next step uh, we write uh, this 3 multiplied by 3 equals to 3 square and its whole power is 10 minus this is 3 to the power of 10 divided by this is 3 square and its whole power is 5 and now we apply here this nice exponent law if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents and after multiplication of these two exponents it will be written as 3 to the power of 2 times of 10 becomes 20 minus this is 3 to the power of 10 divided by 3 to the power of 2 times of 5 equals to 10 and now here uh, we again break this exponent and we write this 3 to the power of 20 as 3 to the power of 10 plus 10 minus this is 3 to the power of 10 divided by 3 to the power of 10 and here we again apply uh, this exponent law if you have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law we break this term and it will be written as 3 to the power of 10 multiplied by 3 to the power of 10 minus 3 to the power of 10 and it is divided by 3 to the power of 10 and now uh, you focus in the nominator term and you see here we have 3 to the power of 10 be the common term so when you take common 3 to the power of 10 we get the remaining values are here you get 3 to the power of 10 minus 1 and it is divided by 3 to the power of 10 so this 3 to the power of 10 is cancelled out by this 3 to the power of 10 and we obtain here 3 to the power of 10 minus 1 further in the next step uh, we will break this 3 to the power of 10 as uh, uh, 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5 and this is our minus 1 so because here calculator is not allowed in this problem so uh, it means that we do all of these calculations in our mind or in our this paper so here uh, 3 to the power of 5 is uh, clearly know that uh, 3 to the power of 5 is equals to 243 this 3 to the power of 5 is also equals to 243 minus this is our 1 so here we need a uh, more simplifications uh, and now here in the next step we need to multiply these two terms so here we break this 243 as this is 243 we write this term as 200 plus 40 and plus 3 and this is minus 1 so further in the next step uh, here uh, we need to uh, do more simplifications here uh, and now in the next step we multiply this value on each of these terms and it will be written as 243 
multiplied by 200 plus 243 multiplied by 40 plus 243 multiplied by 3 and at the last we subtract it with this minus 1. So further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and uh, it will be written as uh, here uh, we need to uh, multiply uh, these two terms first. So here you see that this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. So when you multiply 0 with this number you will get 0. When you multiply 0 with this number you again get 0 and when you multiply two terms of this number you get here 2 3 is a 6. 2 4 is a 8 and 2 2 is a 4 plus in the same pattern we multiply this number with 40 and we write it as 0 times of this number is 0 4 times of this number equals 2 4 3 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 4 4 is a 16 16 plus 1 is 17 we write 7 and carry 1 4 2 is a 8 8 plus 1 is 9 plus we multiply 3 with this number you get 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 1 becomes 7 and at the last we subtract it with minus 1 so here we need to sum up all of these values you get 0 plus 0 plus 9 equals to 9 0 plus 2 plus 2 equals to 4 6 plus 7 equals to 13 13 plus 7 becomes 20 we write 0 and carry 2 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 9 becomes 19 we write 9 and carry 1 and this 4 plus 1 equals to 5 so you get here 5 9 0 4 9 and at the last we need to subtract it with uh, 1 uh, so here uh, we get the final answer of this problem is 5 9 0 4 8 this is the our final answer of this problem which we get here from method number one and now we move forward and we again solve this problem for second method and now here in second method we need to copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is 9 to the power of 10 minus 3 to the power of 10 divided by 9 to the power of 5. so here in the second method we need to break this fraction uh, and we directly write this term as 9 to the power of 10 divided by 9 to the power of 5 minus 3 to the power of 10 divided by 9 to the power of 5. So here we move this 5 to the upsides it will be written as 9 to the power of 10 minus 5 and here uh, this is this 9 to the power of 5 is equals to uh, 3 to the power of 10. Okay, we write 9 as 3 square and this 2 times the 5 becomes 10. So these are cancelled out by each other and here we obtain 9 to the power of 5 minus 1. And now here our next target is to find the value of 9 to the power of 5. Uh, so it means that we multiply 9 with 5 times. So in other words, we multiply 9 multiplied by 9 square and 9 square and a minus 1. So this will become the 9 multiplied by 81 multiplied by 81 uh, and at the last we subtract it with the minus 1. So 81 first we multiply 81 with 81 and you get here 81 into 80 plus 1. We break this 81 as 80 plus 1 and this is our minus 1. So here first you have 9 times when you multiply this 81 with 80 you get here 0 times of 80 equals to 0 and 8 1s are 8 and 8 8s are 64 plus 81 times of 1 is 81 and this is at the last we subtract it with 1. So now we need to uh, sum up these two values we get 0 plus 1 is 1 and 8 plus 8 becomes here. 16 we write 6 and carry 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 and this is over 6 and now here we need to multiply 9 with this number you get here 9 1s are 9 9 6s are 54 we write 4 and carry 5 9 5s are 45 uh, 45 plus 5 becomes 50 we write 0 and carry 5 9 6s are 54 54 plus 5 becomes 59 and this is minus 1 so uh, this value subtracted by 1 is equals to 590a. So this is the our final answer from second method and I hope so you like this method. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.